So, what's the first thing car guys usually do when they start working on a project car? Is it performance mods? Yeah, usually. Is it maintenance? Fixing leaks, belts, that sort of stuff. Yeah, it could be. What about this? I think the main thing car people usually do on a new project first is some sick rims. So that's what I did. I bought some sick rims. The leaks can wait. I bought some rims. Come on, let's check them out. Can you tell what it is yet? Wet sports. Now, if you know much about Subis, especially these wide body models, they look great on some wide rims, on some deep dish rims. These are some Wet Sports SA10Rs. These rims are 9.5 inches wide and the stock rims are only eight inches. So you got an inch and a half extra width here. So you gotta get the offset just right. And the sweet spot for 9.5s on a Rexy is an offset of about 40, to 35 so these are plus 38 which should put them right in the sweet spot this is a really good quality product and i'm confident that these will hold up to anything i throw at them it's also going to allow me to run some wider tires without worrying about rubbing too much but with tires so i always go for quality brand name tires and the reason i do that is for safety really I never cheap out, I never go with some Chinese brand I've never heard of, you know, 100 bucks a tire or whatever it might be. I think tires are really crucial, really important and come on, it's a Rexy. Do you really want to put some rubbish tires on it that don't work properly? What's the point of buying a performance car, right? So yeah, I got a performance car. I want this puppy to handle. I want it to uh, look after me and uh, you know, some sketchy situations. I want the things to hold up. I want the tires to hold up. Now, having said all that, you don't have to spend a million bucks on quality brand tires. Sure, if, if you're running a 911 Turbo or whatever it might be, yeah, just, just go for the top of the line. What I tend to do is buy them used and this allows me to save a ton of money and it just so happens that i've got a set right there come on let me show you so these are michelin pilot sports fives and i spent 600 bucks on them now if you know michelin pilot sport tires you know you could spend almost that much per tire so how did i do it how did i get the whole set for 600 bucks easy facebook marketplace now there's a few things you've got to keep in mind when you're buying tires used. Obviously first you've got to check them, make sure there's no damage, you know, there's no punctures or anything, you're not buying somebody's trash. The other thing is the date. The date on these things is very important. Rubber on a wheel usually lasts about, up to about five years. After that, you really do want to swap them out. So you've got to pay attention to this little symbol right here. It tells you what week of what year this rubber was manufactured so in this case they were made in the ninth week of 2022 they're coming up to a year and a half two years old which means they're totally fine check the tread depth and i've got about 60 or 70 percent tread left on these things so they're good to go now look these things happen people change their rims they change their tires suddenly they're no good for them and that's where you come in and you pick them up for a steal 600 bucks for four Michelin Pilot Sport 5s, yeah, that's a good deal. And look, if you're into that whole saving the planet thing, well then, you've just done the planet a favor. I'm reusing tires that would have been thrown out at some point anyway. So, yeah, I guess that's some greeny points for me. Look, I'm not into all that stuff, but if you are, consider buying used. So the only dilemma I've got is obviously those tires 
need to jump on these rims. So I'm gonna head off to a tire shop, pay these guys a hundred bucks, get these things fitted and balanced. And then for the exciting bit, let's do this. From the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps bleeding. From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing. So cold, behold, frostbite, they feeling. I could tear you apart, or I could go heal them. Nah. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Creeping up from the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go, we All right, let's put these puppies on. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling I could tell you. So just take a look at this, guys. Have a look at the difference. So I've got my wide boy here, lots of meat, and here's the old one. You can see the difference in uh, tire width. Lots more meat on this one. Don't scratch it. The other thing I point out if you do want to get these rims is at the moment they are not hub centric. So what that means is they shimmy around a little bit on the hub itself. So I need to get some hub centric rims. But uh, hey, I'm too excited. I'm going to drop these on and get those a bit later. Oh yes. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. You gotta see this. So, what do you reckon? I reckon the results are pretty good, even if I do say so myself. Now, the modification bug has truly bitten, and stay tuned for the next video, because in that one, I'm gonna reveal what my plans are for this car. So I hope you stick around for that, subscribe, and you'll be notified when that comes out. But in any case, I think that's a pretty good result, and I hope you like them comment below do you like these wheels would you have picked something else i think the ride height could sit a bit lower so i think some coilovers are in order so stay tuned for that but in terms of stance and flushness yeah i'm liking the results but anyway that's enough chit chat from me i'm getting hungry so i'm gonna get a snack right over there i'll catch you next time by the way legends if you do want to support me and support the channel this is how you do it these gloves are made for car guys just like me so if you want to support the channel pick up a pair they're high grip they're cut proof they're breathable they're flexible and they'll protect you so anyway check them out on the website and i'll catch you next time
they make the best chips.